In the off season, did you play any leagues or um, how did you treat the off season? I, I worked out a lot, lifted weights, and I played it like a little, um, little pro am in Memphis. Really good pro am. I forget what it's called, but really good. A lot of pros came to play. So Just some name dropping. Tell us who was there. Deidre Lawson, um, the lost, all the Lawson brothers, um, Chris Jones. There was a couple of dudes overseas, I forget their names, but it was really good. What Alex you, Lomax. Yeah, what do you get out of playing in a pro-am like that? Is that just really more like just keeping game shape and conditioning no, kind of stuff, just keeping game sharp? Yes, sir, just definitely keeping game shape, competitors. And we had a Mississippi team that we won, so we, we, we called the Country Boys. So it was just competitive and it was fun, man. just game reps. Yeah, I thought you had a great first season with the Skyhawks okay. last year, but it's, I thought especially down the stretch, you really kind of asserted yourself and came into your own. Did you kind of feel that same way, and what's the next step for you? Oh, man, I, 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 did, I did feel that way. Um, just getting used to it, acclimated to, the, to, to being a pro. And year two, is I feel like it's going to be different. I show myself even more now on the offensive end, and you know what I do defensively. So it's going to be fun this year. We got a really good squad, really great coaching staff. I can't wait. Is that energy something that you've always prided yourself on? Yes, that you know, this is something. I'm not the biggest guy out there. This is something that I can bring to the table that other guys maybe can't. Yes, sir. I always growing up, I, I never been the most talented, so I always had to figure out how to stand out. So that's just using my voice, using my energy, and just being a dog in the physical. Area. Anything you worked on in particular during the off season? A lot of shooting, a lot of catch and shoot, wide open shots. Got to be able to make my wide open shots. So and then watching a lot of film. How big of an adjustment was that, the the, uh, the G League, the NBA three-pointer, and then last year going to that, and of course the volume at which you shoot and the green light at which you're given to shoot, how big of an adjustment? Oh, it was a, it was a huge adjustment, you know, like I said, it's my first year being a pro, not having school, so uh, uh, just having a lot of downtime to myself and figuring out some things, and the NBA three was longer, so got in the weight room a lot this summer, this offseason, so should be fun this year. How much of a responsibility do you put on yourself as a returning player to kind of maintain the defensive culture you and guys like Chris set last year? Oh, um, a big. It's, it's huge because Coach Steve talked to us about that. that we're going to start defensively. We're going to be a good defensive team. And, you know, I pick up 94. So just, just bring that energy from day one for training camp. So I can't wait. What does it mean to you to see your backcourt partner from last year go from a G League contract to a two-way contract this year? Man, Key Wallace, man, that's my guy, man. I always, he's quiet. I always told him he needs to talk stuff a little more, but that's my guy, man. I, I love him to death. I only know him for, for a year, but, man, I, I really enjoy playing with him. I learned a lot from him. How much did you learn from him playing next to him? And, you know, you guys – were a better team when he was out there and then he yes, got sir. hurt at midseason, didn't really play in the second half of the season for you guys. Now, I learned a lot. He, he taught me a lot when he got hurt. He was still on the sideline, on the bench, and he was giving me, giving me pointers in out the game. And I'd come to the bench, he'd talk to me. So, man, King, he, he's a vet. So, man, I'm just so happy for him that he got a two way and hopefully get a standard. To get you here, the Hawks signed you to the training camp roster and then waved you. Did you get a practice in in that day that you're on the roster? Oh, no, sir. I, I didn't get a practice in. But I came in, I worked out and watched some hoop a little bit before training camp starts. So it was fun being around the guys. Do you think David Singleton has a future in journalism? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. He, he had a future in a lot of stuff. He can cook, he do Taco Tuesdays a lot. So he's okay, dude, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to him, too. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thanks, Jarko. Thank you.